Hey guys, this video is all about how to grow the finca or periuncle from the seeds. Like my other videos, I am also going to cover everything. That means I am going to start the video with sowing the seeds and you are going to see lots of flowers at the end of the video. And that's why please make sure to watch the video till the end. I got the seeds of trailing vinca from seeds and pots and to be honestly saying the germination rate of this variety of vinca is somewhat low. The packet has only 20 seeds and let's see how many of them are going to germinate. To sow the seeds I am using the potting soil mix this way. I am taking 80% of coco peat and rest 20% of family compost. If you have been watching some of my other videos, you already know that this is the same soil mix I mostly use whenever I want to grow anything from the seeds. The seeds are really very tiny and that's why I am going to pre-wet the soil a bit. I, I am doing it so that the force of water is not going to displace the seeds. Next, sowing the seeds and uh, if possible at the time of sowing the seeds, please try to keep a gap in between two seeds so that you would be able to pull out the seedlings much easily at the time of transplanting. Next, covering the seeds with the same soil and while doing it, please make sure that they stay at least 3 to 5 mm deep inside the soil. Also, please note that finca seeds need absolutely darkness to germinate and that's why if you are roaring, then you can cover the entire pot with a newspaper or some clothes so that darkness is maintained. Alright, sowing is done and next I am going to keep the pot in my other balcony and there it's going to get the direct sunlight till around 10 am. Out of those 20 seeds, only 2 seeds germinated. Anyway, 2 plants are more than enough for me and today I am going to transplant both seedlings. You can also see some weeds are also growing in the same pot. To transplant the seedlings, I am going to use 6 inch of container. You can also see that my pot has a few drainage holes and then I am going to keep some broken pieces of the clay pot on the drainage holes so that water can drain out well. Now recently I am getting few questions like why I am blocking the drainage hole. Well actually it's not blocking and if you don't keep any hard object on the drainage holes, eventually what is going to happen is the roots of the plants are going to block those holes or the soil may block those holes and at that time the water won't be able to drain out well and that's why it's important to keep some hard object so that water can drain out well. For the new potting soil mix, I am taking 80% of normal garden soil and 20% of farming compost. In my experience, vincas don't need too much loose soil and that's why we can see vincas growing really very well even in rocky space or even extremely compact hardy clay soil. Alright, next I am just going to transplant the seedlings and I hope you can just follow me. I am also going to give you the updates of the same plants and I hope you are going to see the blooms on the same seedlings whatever I am transplanting at this time.
So what about the pinching? See, I am growing the trailing variety of fincas and these fincas don't need any kind of pinching. But uh, if you are growing the normal variety or the hybrid variety, then you can pinch your plants so that it looks much more bushier. Alright, next we are going to discuss few of the important things so that you can care for your vinca plants the right way. So the very first important thing is sunlight. Well, fincas can handle the whole day of sunlight, be it either winter time or summer time. But anyway, if you are expecting for more flowers, then please try to provide them minimum 5 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. If they are not getting the enough sunlight, they are going to grow leggy and you are also going to get less number of flowers. Next important thing is proper watering. This is extremely important and if I am not wrong, you are already overwatering your vinca plants. See, I already said you before that vinca plants are really very hardy. They can tolerate the extreme heat and they also grow well even in rocky space. That's why always please wait and let the topsoil dry out before watering. If you keep the soil too wet, that time you are going to see fungal attack on your plant. If you are growing the vincas, I hope you have already seen similar symptoms on your plants too. And this thing happens mostly in the rainy time. Now why this happens? Because of the same thing. I mean in the rainy time, definitely the soil stays too wet and that's why the plants get attacked by different kind of fungal diseases. To protect your plants from different kind of fungal diseases, you can apply soft fungicide in a gap of 7 to 10 days. Dose is 2 grams in 1 liter water. 2 grams should be a bit less than half teaspoon. Mix it in 1 liter water and then spray on the leaves of your plants. Now here is one very important thing. See sometimes you may not get the expected result if you just spray on the leaves and that time what you can do is you can apply the same water that means what fungicide mixed water on the soil yellow leaves is the common sign of overwatering and anyway in the rainy time you are going to find few yellow leaves on your plants I really don't worry about it because I know Vinca is a hardy plant. But still, I would say that if possible, please try to protect your plants from the rainfall. Now let me show you how I fertilize my Vinca plants. As a fertilizer, I use all these components. 25 grams of bone meal. 15 grams of mustard cake powder and last 5 grams of Epsom salt. Applying the fertilizers is really very easy and you can just take a look how I am doing it. So guys, this is all about how to grow and care for your fincas and uh, I hope I have covered everything but still if you have any questions at all then please let me know. If you found the video useful, I would really appreciate if you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching the video, I truly appreciate it, have a great day and enjoy.